Okay, I'm going to be demonstrating the California Cosmetology State Board examination procedure number four, the work area and new client preparation and setup of supplies. You will have just finished the haircut and before that the thermal. So um, all of the haircutting um, implements that you were just using should still be out and um, the only thing from the thermal that's gonna be out still is the curling iron because it's been cooling off in the far left corner of your station with a damp towel wrapped around it. So now we're gonna have 15 minutes to completely sanitize everything and um, set up for all of the chemicals that you're gonna use for the remainder of the exam. So the proctor is going to review this. you will be evaluated on the following tasks. That you disinfect all work areas completely with product labeled in English as EPA registered. That you sanitize your hands with product labeled in English. That your universal supplies are labeled in English. And that your items to be disinfected, soil linens and trash are disposed of in a correct manner. You will be informed when you have eight minutes remaining. And so, Without further ado, let's begin. So first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to move my mannequin over to the side and undrape her. This is one of the few times that you're allowed to move the tripod, but you are allowed to at this time. Okay, so I'll take the drape off because we're pretending that this is a new client coming in. So I'm gonna put this in the soil blend. I'm going to grab the curling iron that's got the towel around it and this is gonna go in the items to be disinfected. From the haircut, all of the implements are gonna go in the items to be disinfected bag. And the towel with the hair on it is going to go in the soil linen. And everything else we're gonna keep on the station as part of our universal supplies. So we're gonna move everything over to the left. Since I just touched the dirty implements, I'm gonna sanitize my hands and wrists before I move everything over to the left. Okay, now we're gonna move everything over to the left. And I'm going to take the marbicide with the cap in my hand and get a tissue and spray the whole right side. The empty side of your station is gonna get sprayed we're going to clean it off with our marbicide and throw that tissue away in the trash. Now that this is clean, before I can set my marbicide down, I'm going to spray a tissue over my trash bag and wipe the bottom of the marbicide. Now I can set it and the cap down on the clean side because they've been wiped. So now we're going to do this on every single thing on the station. So we're gonna spray always over your trash can a new tissue for each item and we're gonna wipe the bottom of it and put it on the clean side. Throw that tissue away. Get a new tissue. Spray it over your trash can. Wipe the bottom. Throw away the tissue. Get a new tissue. Spray it over your trash can. Wipe the bottom of everything. Throw away the tissue. New tissue, spray over the trash can, wipe, throw away the tissue, get a new tissue, spray it over the trash can, wipe the first aid, throw it away, grab a new tissue, spray over the trash can, wipe the bag, put it on the clean side, throw away the tissue, grab a new tissue, spray it over the trash can, Wipe the bottom, put it on the clean side, throw away the tissue, and get a new tissue, spray over the trash can, wipe the bottom, and throw away the tissue. So now everything has been moved from the left side to the right side, everything is clean. Now we need to clean the right side too of the table. So I'm cleaning it, 
and there is gonna be a notebook from State Board. You're gonna just ignore that. You're gonna work around it. You do not pick that up. You do not disinfect it. Just pretend it's not there and work around it. Throw away that tissue. Now, you also are gonna be cleaning the front of um, the table, and now you're gonna be getting your um, nail table out from under your station and grab a tissue. You're gonna be spraying the nail, nail table and you're gonna get not only the top, but the sides and the front. So all the way around. Okay, um, and now you're gonna throw away that tissue. Okay, now before you do anything else, you're gonna sanitize your hands and wrists before you put everything back. Because now your hands are dirty, you've been cleaning everything. So we're gonna sanitize our hands and wrists and we're gonna now put everything back in order. So we're gonna put our nail table back under our station and we're gonna put everything back in its place, wherever you wanna put everything and make it nice the way you like it. I always keep my hand sanitizer in the front so it's yelling at me to use it and not forget. And everything else, you can put it where you like it to go. Okay, and now that that's done, um, we're going to, um, I'm gonna actually move my mannequin to the other side and sanitize because I touched the tripod. And I'm gonna get out all of my chemicals out of my bag. So I'm pulling the bag from underneath my station. I'm gonna unzip it and get the big bag with all the chemicals out and immediately zip that bag back up. You never leave it open because the air is contaminated. So because I just zipped up my bag, I'm gonna sanitize my hands and wrists again. I am going to get all of my supplies out. Chemical wave is done first, so I'll put that out first and then the other chemicals. I know the PD test is next, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that out in the middle. Okay, so the bag that it was in gets thrown in my trash. You never leave empty bags out. And we are going to put our chemical wave supplies out. We're gonna throw away this bag. Just put them out as good as you can but you don't need to make it perfect just yet. If you have extra time, then do. But one thing is make sure that everything that's labeled, that the labels are facing forward, facing towards you. That you do need to do. So then we're gonna get out all of our chemicals. And now if you have extra time, you can make it a little nicer and neater. And now you're going to um, drape your client. So you'll bring your mannequin over. If you want to use a different mannequin, now's the time to switch it. You'll take this one, put it in the far left corner of your station, and then um, You'll open your bag, get the other one out, and place it on the tripod and sanitize your hands if you do that. I'm going to be using the same one. And then you're going to drape the client too. So you're going to be doing a double drape. And you'll clip the hair up. Put one towel over the top of their head. So a double drape just means two towels. And you'll get the other one. And 
wrap it around and I'm being very cautious not to let my body touch the towels or the mannequin or the drape. And now I am double draping. I'm going to really make sure that this is draped well and draped tight because this drape has to stay on for the remainder of the chemicals. You don't want it falling off, but if it does fall off, it's okay because I always tell my students, pack extra drapes and extra towels. So we'll be prepared if something does happen. Okay, so there we go. And now I'm going to tie that nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. I'll bring this one down. I'm going to unclip the hair. You can use this clip, you can put it down because it's the same client that you're gonna be using it on. So it's okay, you don't have to put it in the items to be disinfected. If it was a different mannequin head, then you would. Okay, make sure it's in the middle, it's nice and perfect. And I'm going to sanitize my hands and wrists and step back to indicate that I have finished with the work area and new client preparation and setup of new supplies. Thank you.